has the music healed you? I mean, the music has healed me tremendously. It is the reason why I'm probably still around. It's been a vessel to help me get so much pain out because I, for whatever reason, people that have assignments like this, we go through so much. Yeah. And it's not for no reason, it's to help someone else, for someone else to see us falling and get back up and falling and get back up and falling and get back up and still come and be, be triumphant, you know, and not you be bitter. You are resilient. And, and, you know, yeah, not be bitter, just say, uh, okay, whatever, I move on. Resilient, triumphant, no bitterness. Those traits define Mary J, a woman who was molested as a child, grew up in the projects, battled drug and alcohol addiction, and turned her life lessons into the music that has inspired generations. I'm going down. How have you been able to turn the hardships, the negative aspects of life I, into I, positive? I, I mean, if I don't, you know, then it's in vain, you know? I, I, everything that I have gone through would be in vain. Instead of saying, okay, oh, I hate the person, or oh, I'm so angry and upset, you're supposed to take that and say, you know, yes, I can. You know, you said I couldn't, you hated me, but I don't hate me, mm -hmm. you know? And I forgive you, and you know, no reconciliation, but I gotta move on because just that's your poison, mm -hmm. not mine. I'm not forgiving you for you, I'm forgiving you for me, so I can have peace. That's just the way you know, I learned that everything is successful for you mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, intellectually, when you just release people and use all your experiences to write a book, to write a song and, and really be done with it. If I didn't go through all that hell and realize that my fans were more important than me killing myself, then <laughs> I wouldn't be here right now. Mary's earned the title as the queen of hip-hop soul, credited with influencing the musical marriage of hip-hop and R&B. I never thought that something I love so much, which is hip-hop and R&B, and, and mashing the two together, yeah. and just being myself, which was a little tomboy when I first started. <laughs> and tough as nails, never wanting to smile, nothing. <laughs> no, just being myself could, could open a lane for so many people to do the same thing because, I mean, the truth is the truth and it allow other people to speak their truth and be whatever they are, you know? I mean, that's what wins and that's what sustained me, just growing, you know, growing into my glamour, you know? But still tomboy, but, you know, uh -huh. but just, I grew, I had to grow into this, you know? And um, it feels good to say that I'm the reason for a lot of, you know, things that are going on right now in the industry. A lot of female singers. <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing, I say that, like I'm, I'm grateful to watch the talent yeah. and these women that are expressing themselves through their song. When Real Love was released, I was still in the project. So I, I, I remember really singing for my life, like like literally singing for my life, singing to get my family out of the project, singing to save our lives because we did not have a great one where we lived. Ninety six, when you took home your first Grammy, what do you recall from that win? What do you recall from that night? I, I, I recall like just being blown away that, you know, because I got it for hip hop, <laughs> you know, I got, it was me and Method Man and I was just, you know, like, wow, my first Grammy, it felt crazy because I've never gotten a, an award before. Now you got eight more of them, so total to, of nine. <laughs> to get it for, you know, that record, you know, um, You're All I Need, that was major, that was big for hip hop. Forget the Super Bowl in 2022. The only woman holding her own alongside Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, Kendrick Lamar, and Eminem. She's on the short list of artists to perform at the big game not once, but twice. Well, that's why. Don't
She's the first person ever to land Oscar nods for acting and original song in the same year. And she has her own production company. So it's no surprise that Mary's being honored as this year's entertainment icon at the Urban One Honors Best in Black, airing Sunday on TV One and Clio TV. I'm living proof that you can make it anywhere and overcome any obstacle, no matter who writes you off or how many people count you out. I'm happy. I'm living, I'm breathing, I'm free, I'm me. Oh my God. This is how, look how beautiful that is. Thank you, Urban One, TV One. I watch Good Times and all that stuff. <laughs> what does the recognition mean to you? It's just icon to get an award like this, it means so much. Do you realize the impact that you've had on others? Yeah, I absolutely do. Um, I can say that in my life right now. Um, I've opened so many doors. I mean, I've given women a voice to speak their truth. Yeah. And uh, it seems like everyone from pop to, to R&B to, I mean, every female is telling their life story or something that's happened. Yeah. Because I just let them know in 1994 that it's, it's, it's okay. And Mary J's not done. Expect more music, more tour dates, and more acting. I'm mm -hmm. Ola May. Nice you? to meet you. <laughs> you made your acting debut in 98. Was that for the Jamie Foxx show? Yeah. What draws you to roles these days? What makes you want to accept a role? Um, just things that I can relate to and draw something from my life mm -hmm. and, and put it into this character. That's what, you know, things that I can really use as therapy. You know, Monet was kind of therapeutic for me. So was Mudbound. I've been like, through hell. <laughs> so anything that is like, you know, I can really dig my teeth into this and I can really find this person for y'all because this person is me right now. So that's what you tapped into, your own personal experience for Mudbound 2017, which went on to get you an Oscar nomination. I mean, nominated for an actress, that was a surprise because to me, I, I'm, I need a lot of work. Oh, <laughs> I need a lot Mary. of work. I, I really do, I really do. And if I'm not honest with myself, I won't win. So Is that a craft you're gonna continue to, to work uh, on and course, nurture? Of course, of course. I feel like you're now rallying behind and even producing, it seems, mm -hmm. the next generation of music. What else are you plotting? Are you trying to nurture that up and coming generation? Well, right now I have a label, label called um, Beautiful Life and I'm not signing 20 million people. I have a boys group by the name of Juan Moore. Oh, rapper by the name of Otto and these guys are incredible. Fresh from essence, Harlem fly legend could tell. And that's what I'm doing. I'm nurturing them, I'm cultivating them. What is next for you though when it comes to your own music? I'm just gonna keep making music. Um, hopefully I get to score some things. Um, I get to do some more soundtracks for, for movies. Got some tours coming up, some big, big tour. Okay. Some surprise things happening. Well, let us in on the surprises, I Mary can't Jay. Come on. Do it right now, because it's a surprise. <laughs> oh, whatever. But it's, you're gonna love it. Everybody's gonna be pounding in um, for the surprise.